Hello and welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about rendezvous conferencing. Now essentially a rendezvous conference is an always on conference. Now this is a little different from an ad hoc conference which we talked about in a previous video. Ad hoc conferences are created and torn down as they're needed. However, rendezvous is different. A rendezvous conference always exists. It's always on, so even when you hang up from the conference, it's still there, ready for the next person to call in and use those resources. Now with ad hoc, we used an audio bridge that's built into the CCM. But for rendezvous, we're going to use the Cisco meeting server for our conference bridge, which is external to the CCM. So that means we're going to need to build a trunk from the CCM to Cisco meeting server. We also need to create a route pattern, or in this case, we're going to do a SIP route pattern and associate it with our trunk. And then finally, we need to create a conference space on the Cisco meeting server and configure an incoming calls pattern, which coincides with our SIP route pattern to get into that space. So let's say, for example, my conference bridge was 5001 at domain. So if an endpoint calls 5001 at domain and sends that call to the CCM, the CCM will match that SIP route pattern, which points to the trunk, which points to the conference bridge, or in this case, the Cisco meeting server, and then we can get into our conference, okay? So let's go over to the CCM and see how we can set all this up. So the first thing we need to do is build a trunk between the CCM and Cisco meeting server. So we'll go up to device, then trunk, and if we click find, we can see we already have some trunks in here, but none of these go over to Cisco meeting server, so we're gonna build a new one. So let's click add new, and then the trunk type is SIP trunk. And when you choose SIP trunk, device protocol and trunk service type will auto populate. So for this, we can leave these default values just the way they are. Then we'll come down here and click next. And here we need to put in a device name. Now the thing about device names on trunks is that you can't use spaces. So I'm gonna call this rendezvous underscore CMS underscore trunk. And you can put in a description if you want, and then you'll need to choose a device pool, uh, whichever one you wanna use. And then there are some other settings that you can configure here, but you don't have to, you can just accept the default settings. Either way, you'll need to scroll down here to SIP information, and then under destination address, we'll need to put in the IP address of our Cisco meeting server. So in this case, it's 198.18.134.185. So we're just using basic SIP, uh, non-secure, so port 5060 will be fine for that. And then just like when we're adding a phone, we need to choose a security profile, except that in this case, it's a SIP trunk security profile. So we'll select non-secure SIP trunk profile. And then for SIP profile, there's a conferencing option here. So we'll choose a standard SIP profile for telepresence conferencing, and then we'll click save. Now we're gonna get this little pop-up message here, and this is really important. Uh, basically, the pop-up message is saying that when you create and save a new trunk, you still have to click the reset button or else the trunk will not become active. So we'll just click reset and it'll give me a pop-up window click reset again, and then we can close this out, and that's our trunk. Now, while we're waiting for our trunk to become active, uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a SIP route pattern. So for that, we'll go up to call routing, then SIP route pattern, then we'll click add new. Okay, so the pattern usage should be domain routing, so we'll keep that. The IPv4 pattern is gonna be the URI that we want to use to route to our Cisco meeting server, so we're gonna use cms1.dcloud.cisco.com. Okay, and then under SIP trunk uh, route list, we're gonna choose the trunk that we just created. So that's gonna be the rendezvous CMS trunk. Okay, and the rest of these settings down here, uh, they don't really matter for our purposes, so we can just go ahead and click save. Okay, now we have to create our conference on the Cisco meeting server. So let's open up another tab, and here we're gonna type in HTTPS, and we have to make sure that we add the S here because with uh, Cisco meeting server, there's no HTTP redirect. Uh, even if you enable it, it won't work. Okay, and then the IP address to CMS, uh, which is uh, 198.18.134.185. Also, the typical port for CMS is 443, but for this environment, the administrative interface is actually at 445. So we're gonna add a colon 445 here. 
And then we're going to enter our username and password. And just click OK. OK, this is the web interface to Cisco Meeting Server. And the first thing we want to do is go up here to Configuration and then Spaces. Now, spaces are your conference rooms or virtual conference spaces in uh, Cisco Meeting Server. So we're going to go into Spaces, and under the Name column, we're going to create a space called Rendezvous Meetings. You can call it whatever you want. So then we need an address to be able to dial into. So under URI User Part, we'll say 5001. And then under secondary URI user part, uh, this is going to be that domain that we used for routing. So that's going to be cms1.dcloud.cisco.com. Okay? And just a couple of quick side notes here. Uh, if you wanted to, you could also create a call in number and set that here, but uh, that's not really necessary for our purposes. Also, under default layout, these are all of the different screen layouts that are possible. And so you could change the default layout if you wanted to do that as well. Okay, so we're all set here. So finally, you just need to click Add New. And there's our rendezvous meeting. So now when someone dials 5001 at cm1.dcloud.cisco.com, the domain is going to match the SIP route pattern that we created. So the CUCM is then going to route the call to Cisco Meeting Server. Then this whole URL will match for the conference meeting. Now you might be wondering, if we're on a regular IP phone, how are we going to call a SIP URI? If you're on a DX80 or something like this, uh, of course that's no problem, but how are you going to dial that on a regular IP phone? So to make this possible, one thing you could do is configure a speed dial button so that whenever you press that button, it will dial the URI for you. I've done this in a couple of other videos, but uh, let me show you real quick how to set that up. So let's go back over to the CCM and uh, we'll go up here to device, then phone, and we'll click find. You'll select the phone that you want to configure. Uh, I'm going to configure this phone. It's in my lab here. Then click Add New SD. And the number is going to be 5001 at cms1.dcloud.cisco.com. And the label is going to be, uh, we'll say, Rendezvous Meeting. We'll save that setting, then close. And then just real quick uh, to demonstrate everything that we've set up here, uh, I've got three endpoints registered and I configured a speed dial for each one of these. That's the rendezvous meeting button you see here. So I'll go ahead and press that button. Welcome to a Cisco meeting. You are entering the meeting now. And there's the announcement. You are the only participant. Now I'll call into the conference with the second phone. Welcome to a Cisco meeting. And then you I'll do the same the for the third now. endpoint. Welcome to a Cisco meeting. You are entering the meeting now. I'm getting a little feedback here. So notice that we don't have to hit the conference button twice as we did with ad hoc. We just need to call the conference URI and the conference is already there waiting for us to use it. Okay, so that's Rendezvous Conferencing. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.